welcome back to the show you're watching empathy is money and once again i am bringing it to you live and direct i'm bringing you my thoughts just the way i have them fresh off the oven that oven right there hey did you, you know if you like this type of content subscribe to the channel and what kind of content am i talking about here we're talking about me doing my due diligence on crypto assets nfts web3 the entire metaverse and i'm bringing it to you if you find it important if you like if you find it today i got the best for you. today today i got something called sphere finance that i'm going to discuss with you about because i'm getting ready to invest in it and sphere finance we're going to learn about it together it's kind of like uh titano it's another project that's uh promising some really really cool stuff things like staking compounding auto compounding you don't have to like mess around with it you know and i know the hesitation i i just recently went through time wonderland i went through that loss it was a painful loss a lot of us who are in this space understand what it's like to get the rock pulled from underneath you it's not a good feeling but this there's something unique about this project that caught my attention and i and you know for a project that's still in its early stages there's a lot of positive you know positive news around it and so today we're gonna do a deep dive all right let's keep it going we're here on coingecko.com here you can see price is currently at seven cents it's up 24 percent in a 24-hour period this coin debut uh all-time low is at 0 0.006 as march of march 21 it's only like 21 days ago we're currently sitting at 0 0.007 seven cents april 11th um at its highest point was seven cents so today it's actually so as you can see there's been within the past seven days we've seen a record increase in the value of this token so the people are buying in and they're adopting it uh which you know gives me real interest the month of april is promising to be a bullish month in my opinion so when it's in a project a project like this I will be willing to take the risk. This is not financial advice. You do your own due diligence. I'll be willing to take the risk to get into this project because uh, I see the trend of the market and I'm willing to, you know, try it out. And uh, I'm not gonna go in with money that I'm not willing to lose. Um, and then I see what I'll see what it does does like in the next four weeks. Okay, you know, when we switch over here to read some of the documents to see what kind of project it is, it boasts I've uh, been. A revolution in DeFi, complement you know, putting together mechanisms like auto staking, auto compounding, at a daily return on investment of 1.9 percent and an annual percentage yield of 99,900 percent. Those are really huge numbers. I'm not under the illusion that these kind of numbers can be um, sustainable in any form, but it's you know the entire market is such a it's it's a very speculative air period some of us um early adopters we got our balls in our hands and we're willing to just take the chance at some of these things you know it's high risk high reward you know your risk tolerance um they act act accordingly so what is the point of sphere sphere is like uh, you know from my experience it's like it's a fork and what a fork of some previous rebase DAOs that we've seen in the past. One of a, a really popular one, which was um, Time Wonderland. I was heavily invested, invested in, you know, Time Wonderland, and uh, that uh, other projects include projects like Thor Finance, uh, Titano, which I've mentioned earlier. Um, these projects they bank on more adoption and based on the liquidity that they are able to generate in the treasury they kick it back to the um, kick a percentage of it back to investors or token holders uh, in, in this particular case sphere 
Sphere wants you to under what takes away the friction of having to re to manage this project like come you know go back to a platform or to the app to constantly click on it or from what it's from the document here you, you purchase the ass just by holding the token alone you know it's gonna do its thing and it give you that daily return of investment of 1.9 percent so you you know you can count on the on because the APYs fluctuate in different protocols, it's impossible to predict how many tokens you will receive during a given time frame. But shareholders get that daily fixed rate of 1.91% or a, a yield, annual interest rate yield of 99,900%. So, like I said, this is gonna have to test your risk tolerance. So how do we, how do they try to control the price action and make sure no one uh, actor is able to sway the price uh, in any drastically what they're doing is they introduce a taxation which is a uh, not to exceed 20 percent and these tax fees are split and used for different purposes but what that 20 percent tax is is if you try to move your money out of the um you know out of the protocol if you try to sell share early you're gonna get taxed when you you get taxed when you buy and you get taxed when you sell and all that gen fees generated that kick back into the treasury and they're used to invest in multiple projects when you look at the platform here so sphere finance it builds itself as the s&p 500 of crypto the store of value with forced appreciation um it's been and you get exposure to diversified portfolio of projects across multiple chains polygon ethereum and uh, it's been KYC by Obsidian Council, which is a the Obsidian. It's a new company that's headed by JC Echo, uh, the YouTuber. He has a project. This project, Obsidian, right here. Let me click on it. So what they do is they act as the fiduciary. No, not fiduciary. They act as the KYC body for a lot of these projects. If you've been in the um, crypto space, you understand that um, there's a high risk of investing in some of these startups right, where you the teams are not tested and there's a high risk of a lot of them being grifters we've had a high percentage of grifters that just scam people off their money so it helps when there's a company that says we're going to take on that responsibility to check on and audit these team members to make sure that they're trustworthy and they and obsidian has taken that upon themselves to do that um when I listened to a recent podcast that JC Echo made, he had an AMA with Sim, who is the the guy behind this project, uh, Sphere Finance, and he pretty much vouched for the guy. He said basically, look, this guy is um, seems to be a genuine actor. He's very smart. He knows what he's talking about, and he has a huge uh, plan pro for this project. He encourages profit taking. There's no um, going in blind and just sitting waiting for a 99,000% return. Uh, it encourages to take profit, but keep in mind you're going to be taxed every time you take profit. Holding the Sphere token exposes you to Polygon, Ethereum, Binance, Phantom, projects on all these chains because what they're doing with the treasury, which currently sits at $15.9 million, they are using these coin, these uh, liquidity to invest in projects like Curve, uh, quick swap uh, they you know they buy valuable governance tokens which gives token holders uh, value and grants controlling voting power over other influential protocols so it's almost guaranteed that this project is not gonna fail because its success is hinged upon other projects that they are invested on and uh, you know this is the beauty of this is individually we might have a difficult time getting into projects like curve finance but uh when we are when we join protocols or projects like sphere finance we get exposure into, into those high what i would consider blue chip investments so there you have it they set out their roadmap quarter one 2022 we're still in quarter one and from what we can see just looking at the graph this is a 30-day graph you can see that token holders are making significant returns so far it's been an uh, an up one trend since uh the project um, was released 
obviously we can see there's been a few like sharp dips here one happened on uh, april 4th another one happened also april 4th later on that day april 6th there was a sharp dip and april 2022 price dip as well but these are not abnormal when it comes to trading tokens trading crypto you have to kind of expect that the market will have these boom this um roller coaster uh price action and you just price that into your uh return onto your investment anyway i i'm gonna make uh a prediction that this project is going to you know i i you know i'm willing to like i said i'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot if you are interested in this project that like you like it i would recommend that you do your own research and dig deeper uh here's a, a the document here you can always read up more about it how do you join you can purchase fair uh, the fair tokens on quick swap or on bob which are exchanges that you can purchase these tokens at and you can store it on your own custodial wallets um yeah metamask preferably 